Today's podcast is brought to you by Behind the Tech with Kevin Scott. You can find links on Threat, or you can find Behind the Tech with Kevin Scott on any any platform. Actually, we should tattoo it right here, like a henna tattoo. Yeah, I like it. I would get a tattoo for the right amount of money. What? What is that money? <laughs> what Go is on. that figure? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. It is Friday, Paul. You know what? You know what I'm doing today. Hopefully nothing. Getting jabbed. Oh, that's big. That's good. So which one are you getting? Do you know? I don't even know. My wife got hers this morning. I'm Excellent. getting mine this afternoon. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think as of today, every I think my son gets his today. I thought it was last week. I guess it's today. That'll be like everyone in the family. Even the dog? No. The dog, dog non-party family? <laughs> Oops, forgot to hit that button. Oh, that, oh did it? Oh, that didn't work. Do it again. <laughs> you don't get a title. Wait. Oh, I, I knew it was getting smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I I think what's happening is it's a layers issue. Is that because Paul and I were before this, right? Before we whatever, I reach configured this thing uh, because his whatever doesn't matter. But I think your your title is behind your video now, and I got to bring it in yeah, front. Sure, sure, sure. Anyways, we'll just keep. We, we'll whoops. we'll surmount this problem. Hey, and we're done. Wrong button there. We'll just continue to enjoy that. Anyway, so uh, there's a new fingerprint reader from Kensington, which they send out a lot of emails, by the way. But that's a side. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I don't usually, they don't usually offer me product or anything. I mean, they offered it. So I was like, yeah, I, I've wanted something like this for a long time. Um, unfortunately, in my case, I have a NUC. So it, it is plugged into my one remaining USB port. I got to kind of figure that out. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, and get like a little hub or something. Anyway, yeah, it works great. And uh, absolutely not surprising news. Mm -hmm. WWDC will be all digital, virtual. Same with uh, E3, I think they announced too. Uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think they pushed E3 back. And Did they? Up. I think so. Or maybe maybe I'm wrong. I know that WWDC for sure is... Um, um, 2021. Let me just look at that because I, I I feel like they pushed it back. Uh, yeah, E20. Let's see. Where's this thing? Oh, no. This says, no, you're right. It says the in-person event has been canceled uh, as of March 1st. Okay. All right. Never mind. Yeah. Never so. mind. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's Sorry. kind of expected. It's still mid-June. Yeah. Okay. It's usually like the second week of June, I think, because I feel like, well, I feel like it's always when I'm on vacation, because I go on vacation the, usually the first week of June every year. Like, that's the that's the week we go. I feel I like it's almost always gone close. to E3 like half a dozen times. Yeah. I'm very close. One time I agreed, I booked something, and it was just, it's the time of year, it's just, there was one year like we were at an event somewhere in some other city, and I would have had to have, you know, flown from mm. there, and then got, you know, and it was like, eh, like it just... I don't know. So I've never quite made it. Yeah, I don't think this will be the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to happen this year. No, it's uh, definitely not going to happen this year. But something that... Just too bad. The timing of this pandemic was tough for video games in that sense. I mean, yeah. obviously it was awesome for, <laughs> for uh, video games. But, um, you know, they had to cancel last year, had to cancel this year. We, we just have a once-in-a-generation, literally a once-in-a-generation launch event uh, for both major consoles, same mm -hmm. time, and... Uh, Man, nothing. And this year would have been, obviously, the follow-up is always great, right? Because typically, the second year is when the really good games start kicking in that take advantage of all the features and everything. So, and you know oh, that there's somebody sitting there somewhere going, like, we went to nothing, and we still can't make enough. <laughs> like, right, right. like, do we really need these things? It's tough for us because, um, <clears throat> you know, like, all of the predictions for travel are that uh, mm -hmm. personal travel will come back pretty quick. Uh, work travel, not so much. And I, and by the way, speaking of this topic, um, there is a big pushback now on, it's not just Amazon on this work from home thing. Like it is, I mean, we keep talking about this new normal and the hybrid mm -hmm. workplace and everything. And that's going to be true of some places for sure. But there are a lot of places that are like, you know what? Um, actually we need people back in the office and that's been kind of an interesting switch. So I, I think there's going to be a mix of hybrid back, you know, work from home, whatever. But as far as work travel goes, um, 
obviously depending it's an industry dependent but for our type of thing i think there's gonna be a lot less of it uh, than there was and that is too bad because i always use those trips as an opportunity mm-hmm. you know to go see places i haven't been or hadn't been in a while and and you know get out in the world and you know my wife started coming along now that the kids are older and uh that's just i don't know it's just i i I'd like to do more of that again. I hope it happens. I think all at this point, any of us would like to do anything ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, there's a dynamic 365 event. Yeah, we're going. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> but uh, something you should go to is you should go check out Behind the Tech with Kevin Scott because he has a massive back catalog of really good content. This week we're highlighting the episode with Reed Hoffman from LinkedIn, which LinkedIn has been a, honestly a pretty critical part of Microsoft these days. And they're investing a lot. So hearing about the background and all that good stuff is definitely worth your time. And it's hosted by Kevin Scott, the chief technology officer over at Microsoft, who many of you have likely heard of. But if you haven't, that's okay. Behind the Tech is available on all major podcast platforms go search for it you will find it and you will probably enjoy it in one of life's sweet coincidences i just got a little pop-up on my phone Mm -hmm. i i I didn't see if it was google photos or OneDrive, but it was one of the two and it was like on this day in whatever year and it was a picture of a an orange fish on ice from seattle Mm -hmm. right from that seattle fish market thing oh uh -oh. on this day in whatever year i flicked it aside but you know, it would settle for some Microsoft thing. Yeah, this would have been build. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what isn't? You know what isn't building, Paul, though? No. Um, Azure, and it, it's a little <laughs> DNS issue yesterday. So this was a really interesting one, only from the fact that I think it was, it started with a Cloudflare issue, is where, like, some problems started to show up. And then my question was, like, why is Microsoft using Cloudflare? Um, right. Well, they, um, were they? Are they? I mean, I don't know. I don't. Using... I, I could be wrong, but they said that they I mean, switched I, you know, DNS, it's DNS right? Like everything is kind of connected. It could just be one of those cascading fail things. Yeah, uh, but they were down for ooh about an hour ten minutes or something like that, where it took down yeah. everything, everything from Bing to Xbox to Azure to Teams. I don't know what people were doing. That's why we're all going back to the office, Brad, because this cloud stuff is nonsense. <laughs> We're going to go back to walking USB drives back and forth That's right. just to collaborate. Right. Your pocket protector going. Yeah. It's, um, I don't That's... know. You got anything going on this weekend? No. Uh, I, should, I, I, I am excited, however, to reveal that um, we have now booked our first international vacation. Whoa. I'm, kind of, I'm hoping it happens. Can I, can I take but... a guess? I, I, and I do not know. I okay. do not know That's where true. Paul is going, but I'm going to take a guess. Mm-hmm. And, and you'll know why I guess this in a second. Actually, I've got two guesses, but I think I'm going to go with the first one. Okay. First one is Paris. Right. It's not Paris. Oh, Amsterdam? No. Oh. Although that's an interesting one, and I'll get back. So actually, it's possible I will visit both of those places this year. Mm-hmm. Oddly. Um, it's not Paris or Amsterdam because it, we've booked it for June, and June is no one's going to Europe in June, right? I yeah. mean, um, so the place we are going is Mexico City. Um, Mexico has been one of those places that's been kind of open to the U.S. Uh, I think you have to do a COVID uh, test now when you come home, but um, my wife didn't want to travel till you know we were both fully inoculated. So this is something I might have done, mm-hmm. like now or something if I could have, uh, but I couldn't. Um, so the interesting thing about Paris. So last year we booked a trip to Paris for our anniversary, and now we're we don't have anything scheduled, but we're planning to do redo that in October, November, something like that. Um, and we'll obviously we'll see how that goes with Europe and reopening and stuff. Um, but the other thing that's it, it's funny you say Amsterdam because we the, our last home swap was Amsterdam, so that was a year and a half ago. We were at, in Hilversum outside of Amers, uh, Amsterdam, at staying at Stephen Bing's house, and so he, you know he lives in outside of Amsterdam, and he's like, hey, um, I know it's kind of soon. We usually do this every three five years, whatever. But he's like, given the uncertainty and everything, if we can book something last minute would you want to do a swap this year so we don't have to worry about it in advance or whatever? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, beautiful house, you know, beautiful area. Love those guys. So there is actually a chance. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. I, I, but possibly beginning of August, we would go to Amsterdam uh, if we could, you know, for home swap. But if we can't, we'll do something with the kids that's, you know, just different. But uh, So yeah, have you anyway. never been to Mexico City? 
never been to Mexico City. Ooh, so this is, I think one of the few places I have been that you have not. So how did yeah? So how did you end up in Mexico City? Uh, I've been there three times. <laughs> really? Yeah, I for oh, work. Okay. It used to be so. Talk. Pre, right. Well, previous career, um, yeah. I would go there for work because we had an office. So I've been there uh, many times. Wow. But my my one, well, I've got a couple of memories. Um, mm -hmm. which I'll tell you offline. Um, but one of them that I will <laughs> share is so I was coming home and I'm in the Mexican airport and I'm going through security. And it's a, at least at that time, I don't know what it's like now. It's probably even worse. Security Not is sure. a little bit more intimidating, I guess, because like everybody's <laughs> yeah, so, walking around with like right, AKs AK or AK whatever yeah, type of yeah. weapons they have. And yep. th they're doing the pat down and you put your stuff in your bag. And so my bag goes through and my bag starts ringing. Like my phone, like somebody's calling me. And I'm sitting there Did like the whole oh. room like hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like I've Am never seen like three people just look at me and I'm just like, can I get that? And like, they all said, you will not move. And I went, uh Oh, <laughs> it was Thanks. like, I might've so peed, I had an, peed I had my a pants a little there. In uh, Israel, which is also a high heightened state of security mm -hmm. for sure. Um, that's interesting. Okay. So we should talk about this. Um, yeah, the other thing I did, and this will be more pertinent to anyone listening to this, is I've been waiting, I've been putting off this purchase because I, I knew when I flew again, mm -hmm. um, I was going to have to get some kind of noise canceling something because I've been using these Bose things for a long time, but they have a like a headphone you know connector, yeah. and you can put a dongle on it, obviously, but it, phone by phone, it's it, sometimes it's really crappy, like it just has a, a, a like a weird distortion sound, you know, if you move it, it will you know kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of known, like, I love those things, but in fact, it, by the way, it was Mark Rosinovich who turned me on to them uh, oh. many, many years ago. He had them with him and I'm like, you know, he offered to let me wear them. And I was like, oh, dude, I can't do that to you. Kinda, <laughs> like, yeah. Come up with a huge chunk of earwax. Or something. Like, I don't want to do that to you, but thank you. Anyway, he was, you know, he's a good guy, obviously. But um, I've owned two pairs of them. I kind of, I wore one down, like a, the connector piece kind of got worn, but um, I love those things. But I bought the, uh, Bose has a pair, I think they're called ear comfort something they're like um what do you call them <laughs> it's like a uh jesus i'm losing my mind it's just like little earbud things and um you know six hours of battery life is not fantastic <laughs> but uh thank you for letting me flounder there yeah and uh <laughs> of course i was definitely not going to switch the camera back yet that was okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm looking, I'm literally looking at a pair of them and like all I can, all I can think is the brand name of this thing and not what they are. But anyway, um, yeah, so we'll see. Like I, I just, I, I, these things like booking a trip, buying a thing that you would need on a trip are to me like, um, hopeful signs of the future. I mean, it, it's possible this trip, you know, who knows things could go horrible and, and maybe it can't happen, but we'll see. Things you should see before you head off to the weekend is Behind the Tech with Kevin Scott. You can find links on all your favorite podcast apps and everywhere else in the world. And we'll catch all of you right back here on Monday. Yes, we will. Right. Right. Right, Monday. Comes quick.